Hello everyone, welcome to Vista Mera School. My dears, in our today's session, we shall just move on with our next topic that is our universe. Yes, my dears, we shall just move on with a new topic or a new lesson that is our universe. In this chapter, as I told you, you will be able to learn about a topics like heavenly bodies, solar system, sun, earth, the moon, the stars and constellation. Yes, my dears, you are going to learn about all these topics in our today's session. The sun and the night, you see the moon and you also see the stars are twinkling. But what? They are all. Yes, everything that exists is known as universe. Everything includes the sun, the moon, the stars, the solar system, the space, even me, you, pen, pencil, books, everything. Everything around us is called the universe. Or in the simple manner, we can see anything, we can touch, we can feel, sense, nasal or detect. Detect means like notice something that is priority hidden universe includes living things planets light and even time try to understand by this flow chart what you are observing we can see universe contain galaxy galaxy contains solar system solar system contains seven more planets in other way we can see in our earth is a part of a solar system the solar system is a part of galaxy the galaxy is a part of universe now let us talk about the heavenly bodies the sun the moon the stars in all the pla planes that we see in sky are called heavenly bodies so the first topic is the solar system try to understand what is solar system by this picture what you are observing from here yes you see the sun in the center and the planets which are revolving around the sun. Do you know the sun is surrounded eight planets. The sun is surrounded by eight planets. These eight planets along the sun, the family of sun with the satellites, asteroids, asteroids like pieces of rocks and pieces of dust. These are all together form the solar system. Look at the circles. Well, these are not circles. They are known as orbits. As the infinite moves around the sun and they move in a particular fixed path called orbits. Now, the planet in sequence to their distance from the sun, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Even we can remember the sequence of the planets by saying the following sentence. What is the sentence is? My very educated mother just served earth's, earth notes here. M stands for Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and finally the Neptune. So, Mr. Wind sometimes more important things to know about these planets are my crazy. The nearest planet from the sun, Jupiter. Is the lar Jupiter is the largest one and C, the Neptune, is the farthest planet from the sun. Venus is really the hottest planet in the solar system and to you, New streets until 24th August 2006, Pluto was considered as the ninth planet of the solar system. But now, Pluto has been categorized as a third thaw of planet to have means like anything which is much smaller than a usual size. Oh, what? This is in the picture. Yes, this is the sun. Sun is a huge ball of extremely hot gases. Sun is a star and it is the nearest star to our earth. Sun gives heat and light to the earth and 
this really makes life possible on the earth otherwise we are not able to live in this planet sunlight is not important for human beings always this is also used by plants on earth to prepare their food plants prepare food by the sunlight next is the earth earth is the third planet nearest to the sun look at this picture yes first one is mercury sick in the sec- second in the this venus and third is our earth and you know our planet is the only planet of the solar system which has life in it well earth is covered by a layer of air air all we can see that is a thick layer of air surrounding is called atmosphere interesting fact is almost 3/4 of the surface of the earth is covered with the water and remaining 4th 1/4th of the land is only now heavenly bodies is the moon just it is the planet move around the sun the moon also moves around the earth and having no one heavenly bodies moving around the other heavenly bodies is god its satellite so the moon is the satellite of the earth well there are two types of satellite first one is natural satellite and another one is artificial satellite the natural satellite of the moon moon is the natural satellite of the earth because it exists naturally universe in the universe human beings make artificial satellites like pslv and many more in the strings moon does not have its own light it shines because of the light of the sun falls on it and you know that first person to land on the moon was an american astronaut named neil armstrong and adwin littrain on the 20th july 1969 they find out there that there is no water and i knew you and just because of this life is not possible on the moon and the best being the india our country is the first country to find or discover water on the surface of the earth the moon now is the next heavenly body and you also know the poem that twinkle twinkle little star exactly in the dark air night millions of the stars twinkle in the sky but you have wondered why all are twinkling and why they look like very small in size yes they look very small in size just because they are not too far away from the earth and the stars are balls of hot burning gases like sun in fact stars have their own heat and light and the important thing is cirrus is the brightest star that can be seen from the earth now the last topic of this chapter is constellation may rain if you watch the na- sky in the night continuously for few days you might start recognizing some patterns made by the stars these patterns formed by this group of the stars is called as constellation example like look at this picture the pattern of the stars form the shape of bow big bow and this shape is named as our sub missile usually you can find easily find the great view in the sky some more examples are th- ha this is orion it looks like the wo- hunter and this one is the leo leo looks like the lion so students we have covered these topics in today's session like heavenly bodies the sun the earth the moon the stars and the final thing is constellation now let me ask you some questions related with this chapter so that first question is how many planets are there in our solar system yes there are eight planets in our solar system the next topic is who were the first humans to walk on the moon yes they are great neil armstrong and edwin aldrin they were the first humans to walk on the moon in 20th july 1966 
द थर्ड क्वेश्चन इज विच इज द ब्राइटेस्ट स्टार दैट वी कैन दैट कैन बी सीन फ्रॉम द अर्थ दैट इज सीरस थैंक यू यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द टॉपिक